Okay, so I just wanted to uh, put this video up to show how to make the beater for the drum. If you purchase one of the drum making kits, First Nation drum making kits from me, it will include a beater, and I have a rather specific and unique way of making these beaters. So I just wanted to, to go through that. We're going to basically go from these materials to make this. Um, the materials I have here are one dowel stick, uh, one foam piece, a felt pocket, two elastics, uh, some electrical tape, and a pair of scissors. First step is we want to put the foam on, but if you notice, if you put it on right now, it's a bit too loose and it will slide off. So we just want to build up the stick a little bit. And how I do that is with the tape, the electrical tape. I'm just going to attach it to the end of the stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around 12 times. And each time I go around, make a circle, it increases uh, the thickness. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that'll make it so that foam will stick on uh, snug. Now I'm going to do this again two more times just to build up the area that we're going to use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And cut that off. Okay, so now we have the, uh, that'll help hold on the foam piece. So I'm just going to insert this foam over top. Like that. I'm going to feel where the end of the tape is and put an elastic on approximately seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that'll help define the shape. And then I'm just going to cut the excess off without cutting the elastic. Like that. And the next step is actually to take the foam pocket and insert it over top. You can stretch it out a little bit with your fingers. And I'm just going to insert this over top of the foam. I use felt. Felt gives you a rather nice soft kind of rich sound. Uh, some of the other materials you can use like wool or even leather kind of produce a sharper sound. So what I'm going to do now is the same thing. I'm going to take the elastic and wrap it around seven times at the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what I do is I just pull it a little bit. It helps define the shape, stretch it a little bit, and I'll remove the excess by cutting it off, being careful not to cut the elastic. that. And the next step is just to get the tape. This is just electrical tape. You could use something else. This is just a neutral kind of shape that you could decorate from this point, putting leather or feathers or anything that you want on it at this point. I'm just going to press this down to help hold it down. So wrap it. This makes it look a little nicer. And the next step is the handle. So I have a grip on the handle here. This is a hockey stick technique. I go to approximately the middle or the center of the stick, wrap around once, like that, and then I'm going to take it, I'm actually going to pull it to my chest. Just let it hang, and then I'll take that and spin it around several times to get a fairly tight wind. If the tape is not heavy enough to uh, spin, you could do it manually just by making circles like this. Now, with this tape, you can actually stretch it a little bit. And I'm going to go around in a spiral direction, candy cane design, about a centimeter apart. 
as I wind my way down to the opposite end of the mallet section. Then when I'm at the bottom, I'll just cover it, being careful to keep the shiny side out. Now at this point, you could cover it with something else like leather. I'll just cover it with the uh, less expensive electrical tape at the moment. Now if you notice, I'm making little half turns. Again, I've made thousands of these, so it's a little easier for me to make it look easy. But these little half turns can get it nice and tight like that. Once I get back up to the top, cut and drop. Close my thumb, and there you have one beater.